All right, guys, this is gonna be a wham bam review of a few different apartments. I'm gonna do this super quick. This is the place I've been renting. You come in the door, you've got a kitchen, you've got a bathroom, you've got a toilet, a sink, you've got a nice size shower. Plenty of storage everywhere. More storage actually than I need. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Let's go look at these others. So this apartment I just showed you, is 4,500 pesos per month. That's 225 US. There's a couple right up here that are bigger. I ran one of these to start with, but I'm passing right now on this level. I was renting one of those for 5,000. It was a little nicer. It had a uh, skylight that you could look out and see things, pretty cool. There is a gym that everyone can use. There's a treadmill, spin bike, all that good stuff come out here and there's a nice terrace with a couple seats. I sit out here almost every night to look at the sunset and you can see the volcano over here, Popo Teclon, Teclon I think it is. Second highest peak in Mexico. We're gonna go upstairs again here to this other apartment I looked at. So again, those two were 4,500 and 5,000. The one we started the video in, I have been renting 4,500 or 225 US a month. This one here is available for 3000 a month. That's 150 US. So if you don't have the big closet, I'll make sure I show you that again at the end of the video. You got the same size bed when you come in. You've got about the same size bathroom, but there are not new fixtures in these. We're going down a price level. So you no longer have a door separating the bedroom. And again, I'll be sure to show you that when we pass it again here in a minute. Basically the same shower setup. The ceilings in here are about seven feet. You've got this nice desk counter that wraps around. This place still needs to be cleaned. Sink, plenty of storage, but no cabinets and doors. There are these cubbies up here, and you've got tremendous views of the city here out of these really big windows. So, really cool, really big desk. I assume there's a couple chairs. I do see one chair here. There may be another chair lurking around somewhere for this place. Huge mirror behind the door. So again, that one was 3,000. That's 150 US per month. Now we're gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna make sure while I'm thinking about it to show you the bedroom in the apartment I'm currently renting. I'm getting lost here. So that one I just showed you, along with these here that are a little more these 5,000 ones, and that 3,000 one I just showed you. You've got big skylights and you've got big windows, which make it quite warm. That apartment I was just in is pretty toasty, about the same as that 5,000 peso a month apartment I started in. Now, here's the bedroom I was telling you about. This again is the 4,500 one. You've got a door to the bedroom. So it's a little more set up like a one bedroom, even though, I mean, it's pretty small. And the ceiling again in this one, probably seven feet. So both these are about seven foot ceilings in the 4,500 model and the 3,000 model. Now that 5,000 I told you about with the skylights, it has really high ceilings and it has these cubbies. It even has this kind of cubby that's so big you could put a guest bed up there if you had a little mat or something for somebody. I mean, you can just about, well, you can, I think, fully sit up. If you look back at the other videos I made when I first came here at the beginning of April, 2021, you'll see uh, some videos I made in that apartment I was paying 5,000 a month for where I started. Now this one, you have a similar window. This is ground level. This is very dark tint. You can't see out, you can't see in, and guess what? This apartment's about two or three degrees Fahrenheit cooler than everything I've showed you so far. Compared to those ones with the skylight, it's even much cooler, a much more of a difference. This is only 3,000 pesos a month for this apartment. It's much smaller. Um, you've really just got, you know, this little desk area of the bed, your little storage nook over here. Here's the door where I just came in four burner stove, dorm style fridge, little storage under the sink. It's a small sink. Actually, it's still a decent sized sink. You could wash a, a pot or a pan in here. 
um, a little area to set a plant or something. And again, original fixtures in these, they haven't re been redone like the 5,000, 4,500 apartments. There's no little cubbies in the shower to put stuff. You do have a little, uh, a little shelf area here on the windowsill. Um, but for me, this is plenty of room. This is the apartment I selected. This is the apartment I'll be living in here in a couple days. And again, this is only 3,000 pesos, 150 US per month. Plenty of room for me. Um, I think this is gonna work out just fine. And the thing I like about this is I'm getting these super high ceilings. This ceiling's gotta be about 10 feet tall. Nine to 10 feet tall in here. I mean, I'm almost six feet, so I can reach about seven. Yeah, it's gotta be like 10 feet, very close to it. Even in the bathroom here, it's like uh, eight feet. So the great thing that gives me, along with not having those huge windows that are letting a bunch of light in and the high ceilings, it's going to make it very, very cool. That's why it's a few degrees cooler down here. And that's why I made my choice lower price, cooler temperature. I do have to bring the linens. So the 5,000 and the 4,500 places I showed you, those have linens and everything included, dishes, all that stuff. These cheaper ones, the 3,000 one and this 2,500 one, you've got to provide that stuff. But for me, I think this is going to work great. I actually plan to use this apartment with travel restrictions continuing. I'm going to be spending the next year probably in Mexico. So this is a great hub in Puebla. I can take a two hour bus to Mexico City and get super cheap flights anywhere. So it's a great place to just have a place to keep some things and then I can travel really light when I go explore other parts of Mexico. That's the plan. And for that plan, since I won't be here month in, month out, year in, year out, every day of the year, this is perfect. It's super cheap basically half the price, three or uh, 2,500 compared to the 4,500 or the 5,000 I've been paying or even higher prices in Mexico City. The best deal I found there was 7,000 in a nice neighborhood. And this is a good neighborhood here too. So here in Puebla, thanks for watching the video guys. I think I made the right decision. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.